Hello guys, Sid back at the shop. Got a uh, 440 uh, seal crank on the uh, bench here. Got a here, little bit of road rash. Guys, you turn your motors down. Some of you already know this. Look like we had a number four main that was starting to scuff. A little bit of road rash here on number three. Okay, I'll be. Hello guys, back at the shop here. This is uh, Rick and Ricky Jure's crankshaft. For J Ray Racing. You can kind of see we have a little bit of damage on the uh, crank. We had previously checked this. It's uh, not really warped bad. We're going to kind of get rid of some of this casting flash on this, slick this up a little bit. get rid of some of that casting flashing before shop painting got an idea I'll be hello guys we're back we've got the crank all masked up thrust the seal surface I don't like shop painting those uh, got the snout got the uh, crank all the bird it didn't require too much but I kind of like doing this and then we'll do that, and then we'll shop peen those surfaces. So uh, let's put her in the shop peen. We'll be okay, guys. We got the 408 stroker, the eagle crank, and the shop blaster. We're going through a cycle, and then we're going to turn around. And we'll run it the other way. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. We've got a 440 steel crank. We're going to defer it, kind of like we did the. Uh, 408 stroker. We're going to get rid of things like this on here. I'm going to slick it up. I'll be back. Hey guys, we're back. This 440 crank has got some bad road rash on it from manufacturing. We're going to slick this up a little bit. We'll be back and uh, hopefully we'll have a cleaner look. I'm going to do this before we shop peanut it and uh, get a nice prep job on this. Okay guys, we're back. You can see we've uh, knocked quite a bit of that rough forging off. Slicked it all up. We're gonna thermal clean this uh, crank. And uh, thermal cleaning is also uh, it's uh, it can be a good stress reliever especially as old as this thing is probably wouldn't hurt to have that done the shop painting stress release as, as well we kind of slicked her up got rid of excess uh, okay I'm back you don't need to be swinging that extra weight so uh, 
we've got it off there. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, guys, we're back. We've got uh, Rick's crank all shot peen. And you can see we turn it the other direction. And uh, it's a game changer. We smooth it up. Uh, let's take it out of there and get a look at it. Okay, we're back. You can see that casting flash is gone. All slicked up. You can see the seal surface is polished just like it was when it came to me. The snout the same way. We don't shop peen them like some shops do. Uh, don't want to induce any uh, abnormal wear or damage into the shaft. Let's get our you can see I've got the thrust all taped up. Let's get that off and I'll be back. Okay, it's Ed, back at the shop. Here's the 408 stroker. All shot peen. Feels real nice and smooth. Thanks for watching. Ready to go to grind. Okay, guys. We got our oven all loaded up. We got two 440 cranks. A uh, 351 Windsor and a block in there. We're going to run it through the cycle. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is our first 440 crank. Been thermal clean, shot peen, one direction. We'll flip it over and we're going to be back. Okay, this is what it looks like after thermal cleaning. Fixing to get it all taped up. I'll be back. This is the uh, second 440 crank. Okay, this is after the last round of rotation, switching around. Looks pretty good. Looks very nice. Okay, here's our second big block Mopar forged seal crank. You can see what it looks like before. Let's get to it. And for you four guys out there, I've got a 351 Windsor. Just did a uh, minor deburr and clean, shot painted it. This crank had already been uh, turned before. We're going to take this from uh, 10 to 20 under. Thanks for watching.